Good evening, everybody. We are starting the meeting now for the Horn Street Camp Bowie to West Vickery Infrastructure Improvement Project. If you can see the screen, the bottom right-hand corner has the chat feature. You can write your questions, type your questions into chat, and we will respond to those after the presentation. If you're a call-in user, we will take your questions after we respond to the chat questions. I'm going to let Council Member Crane say a few words before we start the meeting. Oh, I'm sorry, we are recording the meeting. Thanks, Sally. I appreciate y'all putting this presentation together for the neighborhood. Um, I've been briefed on it overall, and I think it's great that we're putting these infrastructure improvements in, in the Como neighborhood. Um, big part of Horn Street, I know during Snowvid and post Snowvid, have had issues with the infrastructure there. So uh, excited to see that and the other piece and all the, the changes coming there. But obviously, if neighborhood or anybody has any questions or issues or problems, you can reach out to me anytime uh, to have a conversation. But uh, appreciate what y'all are doing, and and uh, I'll let the let y'all get on with the meeting. Thank you, Council Member. Your project manager is Subi Averigis, and I'm going to hand that over to him. Subi. Good evening. My name is Subi Averigis. I am the project manager managing this project. Agenda of this project is introductions, project overview, project area. Frequently asked the questions and timeline. Your construction project team includes project manager Subi Vargis, that's me. My contact number is 817 392 7803. And my email address is subi.varughese -E at Fort Worth, Texas. Dot GOE. Engineering Design Consultant is Shield Engineering Group. Consultant PM Project Manager is Craig Barnes. Project Overview. This project is in Council District 3 and impact the Como Neighborhood Association. Existing sanitary sewer mains and water mains will be replaced in an area bound by Cambovi Boulevard to the north, Brian Street to the east, West Vickery Boulevard to the south, and Halloran Street to the west. Project area. Horn Street from Cambovi Boulevard to West Vickery Boulevard, water, water line and sewer line will be replaced. Dias Avenue from Horn Street to Borain Street, water line and sewer line will be replaced. Manhattan Drive from Horn Street to Wilmington Drive, water line will be replaced. Carver Drive from Horn Street to 500 feet east, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Donnelly Avenue and Gudges Avenue from Horn Street to Halloran Street, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Humbert Avenue and Farnsworth Avenue from Horn Street to Farron Street, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Carver Drive and Fernando Drive from Horn Street to Farron Street, Sewer line will be replaced. Why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, age of the line, line material, and whether there are LED service, service lines. This project is being done because the existing water and sewer lines are in poor condition. Do you replace the water line up to my house? We replace the city-owned service line 
water meter and meter box and we will repair the street. We do not replace the water line up to your home or business. Will you need access to our property? This is in the public right of way or in the street. If Fort Worth Water Department needs access to your property, we will contact prior to the start of construction. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanouts provides the crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the cleanout to the house and the private plumbing are the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15, 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from temporary line to the new line. How does the temporary water line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. Water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line, which is above the ground, during the winter months to keep the line from freezing. The customers should also keep their faucets dripping. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground plane. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on an average of the previous month's usage. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Damage during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will replace cap lines after construction is complete. Again, damage to irrigation systems during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Are we getting new curb, gutter, and sidewalk? The existing curb, gutter, sidewalk, and driveways will not be replaced, except in certain circumstances, which include those that are damaged by the contractor during construction. The contractor may need to remove and replace some curb and gutter and sidewalk to restore services. The contractor will also remove and replace driveway approaches that currently have water meters installed in the approach and must be relocated. Timeline. This is a design meeting. The next step includes advertising for bid for construction, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, pre-construction meeting with the contractor and inspector, and a WebEx community construction meeting to update those impacted by the project. And then after construction starts. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated 
on the city for city of Fort Worth website. And you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter 103123 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map and the project summary, frequently asked the questions, will be linked to this project page. You can contact me. My name is Subi Varghese. My contact number is 817-392-7803. And if you have any questions, you can email me. My email address is subi dot v a r u g h e s e at fort worth texas dot g o e how do i report an emergency or non emergency is there any emergency contact for water main breaks sewer backups you can contact at 8173924477 and select option 1 for non emergency 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, you can contact at 817-392-4477 and close, uh, close down city holidays. You can download my Fort Worth app from the App Store or Google Play, and you can report the sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other any civil concerns. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can post it in, into the chat box. Maybe at this point, we do not have any questions in the chat. Uh, anybody have a question they want to ask on the project? I see you have here, uh, who is Ella Burton is on the line for Como. Hello, how are you? And I see several other Como residents online. I'm sorry, I got on a little late and I'm on the phone and I can just barely see the content of the slides. <laughs> I was just curious, we do have our monthly meeting on tomorrow. Is it possible for me to get a copy of those just in case I need to answer questions regarding what's going to uh, transpire down that Horn Street corridor? We will, um, we have what we call a summary FAQs, which covers everything that Subi did in the PowerPoint. Uh -huh. so I, can, I can email that to you. What time is your meeting? It's at 7 o'clock tomorrow. And okay, I'll get if you would like to uh, hop in on that meeting and perhaps you can answer the questions yourself if you want to. Uh, I can send you the link we're doing. Our, hopefully it's our last virtual meeting and perhaps we'll be back in person in uh, September. But we are meeting virtually tomorrow night for our monthly meeting. Okay. Uh, I just I... want to bring this up so that the community is aware of it. Uh, again, we do have some residents online. Uh, and wanted to be sure they were there and perhaps they can speak to some of the questions, but a lot of it transpired before I got on. So, um, okay, if you want to email that link, we'll see what we can do and I will get the summary FAQs to you probably by noon tomorrow. Sounds good. Does that work? Okay. All right. And I don't know whether there are any questions among those that are, are on or not. Okay. The floor is open. Anybody have a question? As far as taking, my name is Tanya Carter. I'm a resident at Lake Como, Texas. As far as taking a virtual video of your property before the construction starts, uh, do you have an email that we're to port these pictures or emails to, picture emails to? Yeah, you can email to my uh, email address. That's subyvarughec at fortworthtexas.goe. You can email to me. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I am late coming on, but I'm curious. So you're going from Camp Bowie to Vickery down Horn Street. So the residents that are facing uh, east and south of each other, are those the only ones that will be impacted or are you going into the inner streets between? So the uh, uh, Horn Street starting from, uh, sorry, uh, Cambovie Brewer to Vickery Brewer, and uh, another street, Dias Avenue, and another street, Wil Wilmington Street, that's all Okay, okay, I see that now. Yes. Manhattan. Got you. Okay, yeah, once I get that slide, I'll be able to see that as well. 
So great. That's what I was curious about. So we can make sure those uh, residents are in tune. And thank you, Tara, uh, uh, Tanya. I know she's impacted there at Diaz. Uh, especially we want to be yes, sure. Yes, that ma'am. Hear you. That's a good question. I do have a question as well. Go ahead. Um, how how were these uh, streets selected? Is there something wrong with those lines already? Is there a leak or something? Uh, no. Uh, usually, Fort Worth Water Department prioritizes the water and sewer based on the uh, leaks, uh, CCTV inspection, and the condition, uh, age of the line, and materials. And based on that data, we prioritize uh, to uh, you know the uh, line to replace. And uh, these sure. lines are pretty old, cast and pipe. That's why we selected these lines. Brother Brooks, I'm sure we're well overdue. Okay. <laughs> but expect it's very much needed. Uh, probably well overdue. How far in advance will the uh, residents be notified? Can you say again? How far in advance will the residents be notified that there'll be work done? Yeah, uh, we will be, uh, you will be notified with uh, seven day door hangers and one day door hangers uh, before construction starts. And we will conduct another public meeting before construction starts. My name is Tanya Carter. I have two more questions. If one seems asinine, I do apologize. It's due to my ignorance, sir. My first question, uh, I heard briefly uh, stating something about when will the bids, uh, when are y'all accepting bids for the contractors for the project? What kind of uh, contractors uh, will have a uh, preview to the project? Are you gonna honor a certain percentage of minority contractors for the uh, project? And my second question is, are, are there, is there, if, excuse my diction, okay. Is it cast iron pipes y'all removing only or some of these pipes lead based? So your second question, uh, we are uh, replacing all poor conditions, uh, water and sewer line on the street selected. Are they cast iron only or are they encompassed of lead? There is no lead noticed on this street. Okay. And as far as the con con uh, receiving uh, bids for the contract and, you know, a percentage of uh, minority contractors, how do we get information to bid on this project? Yeah, I know the, uh, the contractors, uh, you know, the pre qualified contractors uh, bid on this project and the lowest contractor will be selected for the. Uh, We'll select. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't understand you. You said they've already been uh, selected. The contract has already been selected. No, Is no. That what you contractors, said? contractors are not selected yet. Uh, currently, we are on design. Uh, around 90% design completed. And the next step is we are going to advertise the project and bid opening and approve the council. And uh, uh, then uh, we will select the contractor. Yes, that sir. Will this be, be public information, sir? Pardon? As far as getting the information out to minority contractors in the neighborhood and or businesses, we do have contractors in Como in District 3. So uh, I was, I'm just a, a, a voluntary news source, and I would like to get the information out of the bids but in the date for the contractors and everything involved, will that be placed on the city of Fort Worth website, sir? Uh, you know, the website that you gave? Maybe I can answer that and I'll, I'll put the um, link in the chat. Can you see the chat, Tanya? No, ma'am, I called in, but I, I can get it from okay. Sister Ella if you will, please, thank you. Okay, uh, it's, a, it's a page called Awarded Bids and Requests. Um, and it looks like there's still some open. So let me put that on the chat. Thank you. Good, good evening. This is Tony Shalala. I'm a Subi's assistant director of water department. To answer, uh, to add more to what Subi is saying, as you know, the city has a minor MWBE ordinance. So prior to the job going out for bid, 
a goal will be set for MWE participation. And when the job is ad advertised, that goal will be made known to all the contractors prior to the bid and will be made a requirement for the project. So yes, the city has MWBE requirements. If that answers your question. Thank you for phrasing it correctly. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Again, this is the design phase. So, Subi, we're coming going to come back in two, three months. Yes. Okay. I have uh, a quick question. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, my name is Leon Reed. I, I thought I saw something that said um, that there was going to be work on an alley between Carver and Fernander, but don't all of the alleys in Como run east and west and not north and south? Oh, which one you are talking about, Dali, between Donnelly Avenue? Um, Okay, right there, the third bullet point, it says alley between Carver and Fernander. I don't know of any alleyways that run north and south. Because that's, uh, maybe that line may be in good condition and uh, no need to replace that segment. That's why we didn't uh, pick up that line. Okay, but um, maybe I'm not phrasing the question. The alleys in Como, typically run parallel with the streets uh, and they run east and west. I, there are no north and south alleys, but Carver and Fernander are, are north and south of each other. Is that, is, uh, so I'm confused when you say the alley between Carver and Fernander. It was just something that caught my eye um, because there is no alley <laughs> between Carver and Fernander. Unless and this I'm, is Rhonda Vicentana. I'm one of the engineers of record. It's the alley that is between the streets, Carver and Fernander. So if you're on Carver, it'd be in your backyard. If you're on Fernander, it'd be in your backyard. So you're uh, right. The, okay. the alley runs east west, and it's alley between Carver Drive and Fernander Drive. Okay, I got you now. Better. Yeah. I, 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 okay. <laughs> now, yeah, I understand that now. Thank you. And then, okay. yeah, that, yeah. Okay, and I see that. All right, good to go. Thank you. You guys have some great questions. Do we have any more coming in? And just a reminder, we um, make a YouTube video of this presentation. Uh, Tanya, I don't think it'll be, I mean, Ella, I think it was Ella that asked me that. I don't think it'll be ready before your meeting tomorrow night. Um, but we also, so we put the video of this meeting. We put the summary and frequently asked questions in English and Spanish on the website page that is in the chat if you want to click on chat and, and go to that page. And we also have a map of the project. Okay. No, I asked for the PowerPoints for the questions that he Okay. An answer here. I have another question, please. Okay. I've noticed uh, some sidewalk activity that, that that is some sidewalk construction activity that's going on right now and I happen to notice it between Goodman and on Little Page on Little Page Avenue between uh Goodman and Kilpatrick. Is that part of or did that funding come funding for that come from the same source or was that something that was already uh designated and what other areas in the neighborhood are sidewalks being added? Leon, that happens to be under that NIP, the same one that had the police and all of that, the 3.2. That's what that construction is under the neighborhood improvement project. In fact, they extended it down to Fonsworth. We asked them to do that. First, they were just going to stop right there at, at Horn and Little Page from Bonnell, but they've extended it down past Miss Crosby, Miss Indies. So it goes down to Fonsworth now. But that is a part of the NIP. Thank you. The rest of you have been quiet. No more questions. I see Mr. Crockett joined us. Uh, 
<clears throat> well, since y'all insist, this is Tanya Carter. <laughs> when construction starts, um, the spokesperson stated, the city officials stated, uh, the water is going to be turned uh, off and uh, uh, some type of uh, temporary water line was going to be ran from the residents' uh, house. Uh, so they could, you know, still have water and everything. And uh, your bill, the usage for it was going to be prorated uh, by the amount of your old bill. Uh, could you ex uh, expand on that just a little bit more? Because I'm kind of confused uh, on that process, please, about the water being turned off and, you know, uh, everybody's water is going to come from one place. Please explain that to me because I'm confused on that. Please. So you are asking about the temporary water line? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, it's not temporary water. no smart meter. Y'all going to be running that. And so y'all just going to do an average. That's what I heard you say of whatever that resident uh, water bill was. So I was just trying to get more clarification on that, please. Can you go back to that slide? There you go. Oh, sorry. One second. This one, right? Yes. Yeah. The temporary water line will be installed so the customers, you know, they to have a continuous water service. And this temporary water line is a small metal pipe is placed on top of a, of the ground along the curb and this line is connected to the fire hydrant uh, and to the home or business and if the temporary uh, temporary line crosses the driveway it will be covered with asphalt and uh, customers will have a brief interruption of the service when home or business are transferred to temporary line and again when uh, connected to a new lane, then it will be uh, 15 to 30 minutes will be interrupted. 13 to 15 days? No, no, 13 to uh, 15 to 30 minutes interrupted. Oh, okay, okay, just a small, okay, I thought it would be, uh, you know, some time. Okay, thank you. I think you scared everyone, Tanya. <laughs> Well, I thought it was going to be off for a while, and, you know, they was just going to be getting water from the uh, fire hydrant. Uh, yeah, I'm, I was afraid that, you know, the water usage was going to be off for some time, and it wasn't anyone, you know, measuring the amount of money, uh, because he did uh, say something about the average. All right, last chance for questions. Hey, I do have another. I do okay, have another question. Uh, this is Nolan okay. Brooks with Legacy. Just concerned about how long will the project take? Uh, the, we are anticipating the construction starts on uh, first quarter of next year. Uh, we don't have, you know, the, the contractor is not not on board yet. Okay. So what, once we hire the contractor and he will prepare the schedule, then that, then after that we will conduct another public meeting, then you will get more details, uh, more idea about the project. So how long it will take? Uh, usually it takes 18 months to finish the construction, 18 mm -hmm. to 20 months. Okay. Um, for, for the so next we are meeting? anticipating the construction uh, next uh, first quarter of next year. Okay. Well, for the next meeting, can we get like an earlier a notification of the meeting because there are several people that I talked to that had not received the information. I'm sure they would have want to have been on today. Okay, sure. yeah, sure. We, generally, the rule of thumb is that we mail those out two weeks in advance. So some of the people did not receive it. Is that what you're saying? The majority of people I talked to, I talked, as a matter of fact, I talked to several pastors today. Okay. And some okay. of those pastors had no clue of a meeting today. Okay. Uh, we notified the neighborhood Como Neighborhood Association. I don't know if there's any other neighborhood association we should have contacted. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not sure who y'all notified. Okay. okay, we'll double check that list uh, before the next meeting. I have a question. Okay. Um, the link that is in the chat. Um, 
one, I was, I thought I would be clicking on a link to tonight's presentation, but when I clicked on that link that is in the chat, uh, it took me, I guess, to the city's page for, um, you know, all of the city projects. So I did the little search um, off to the right hand side and just put in Como and I see, you know, three older projects that came up. So what <clears throat> the link that was put in the chat, what specifically is it for? What's the proper search term if it is in fact for for tonight's presentation? Okay, I just clicked on it and it worked for me. Um, you may have clicked on the first line and not the second, but the, if, what you will do is go in the search bar on the homepage and put in 103, 123, like, like I see be shown on the screen, that'll take you straight to the project page. 103, 123. 123. It'll take you to the project page and we've already got the map on there. And I hope by Friday we'll have the video of this meeting up on there. We'll have the summary FAQs up on there. Um, when we are going to do the construction meeting, that will also be on that page. So bookmark that so oh, you can uh, check it. And Sally, let me let me. It's not coming up. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Maya. Uh, it's it's not coming up. When I put in 103123, it says we couldn't find any results for 103123, so it brought up 103133. We might be having an issue with the website externally because it's working internally. And it, uh, when I clicked on it, it did warn me like, hey, you're going to an external link or something. So it, it may be something that is by design internal, but um, I'll try it on my own. Well, I, I'll, I'll try it again. Uh, okay. Is that the same website that was in the presentation? Yes, sir. Would someone else also try that if you have a computer, please? Uh, and please yeah, I, carry on, Sister Burton. And I got that same message when I just tried it. So there might be, they might be doing some website work. And again, I'm working from my phone and it's about to go dead, but I do want to clarify, particularly for, uh, for Minister Brooks there. Uh, oh, it's saying low, it's about to go out. Uh, <coughs> if you can see this, this came in the mail. It comes from the Fort Worth Water Department. And a lot of people will disregard things like this that look like junk. I got this on July the 20th. Our neighbors got this July the 20th, and it does have the Fort Worth Water Department logo on it. So that's what it would have looked like, similar to a water bill. If your church is like mine, the pastor does not get the mail. So uh, if that's not passed on to him, that might be the issue. And it comes into me, though, I do try to get it out to those that I have email addresses for as soon as I can. Uh -huh. I did remind her this afternoon. So please, please tell them don't disregard anything that's coming in from the city because we're getting a lot of information on a lot of construction that's going on out here. And that's probably going to be going on for about three years. Okay. So uh -huh. Beware, beware. But I'll do my best to get what I can to you for as long as I remain in this uh <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll make sure we let you know let the pastors know that as well. Okay, okay. Thank you. okay. And I'll, you, I'll purposely try to be sure they get it too, uh, Nolan. I know how that goes. Trust me. Okay. Do anybody else have a question? You guys have been active. Right, okay. Well, we'll uh, I'll trust my comrades that are on to help us share that tomorrow in our meeting. Whatever I might leave out. In fact, I'm probably going to designate one of them to address it for me. But if you'll get that PowerPoint to me, I, I did come in in the middle of it and I saw some interesting uh, points that we we're putting up that I'd like to make sure they're aware. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm going to probably bow out if the others want to stay on and ask more questions. Uh, I've got a meeting to be at at seven o'clock. So. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and blessings, Sister Allen. All right. You too. Talk to you guys later. Hi, okay, Leon. I, yes. have a, uh, I, uh, I just wanted to let you know, this is Sarath Pater. I, I work at the city as well. I believe the misunderstanding is that you are clicking the link that is in the message uh, of the chat box. Um, and that's the actual link to bid and bid and awards. 
Um, but I believe that um, if you go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and then put the number in, it should work for you. Okay, I'll try that now. You can, you can also send me your email address and I will send you the link. See if that'll work for you. I'm trying. Okay, I just did um, what, what was told of me to do at Horn Street, Horn Camp Bowie to West Victory Infrastructure Improvements. Yes. Okay. And now I do see three tabs that came up. Um, and I guess the last the one that we're addressing tonight is the third one that was published on July 23rd or, or all three of these uh, what we're discussing tonight. I, well, discussing if you're, you're not looking, so I'm letting you know, I'll let you know what's here. Horn Camp Bowie to West Victory infrastructure improvements. Horn Camp Bowie to West Victor, Vickery uh, virtual design meeting and virtual meeting to discuss water sewer project along Horn Street. Uh, which is this one? That's all, all of them are this meeting. Um, the first one is the actual page. The second one is a, the calendar entry. In case you follow the calendar, you'll see the uh, meeting in there. So those are actually two meeting notices, the second two. So the top one is your website page. And that's the one we'll be updating um, following this meeting with the video, the summary FAQs, and I believe the map is already on there. So bookmark that first result. Okay, I just put the star by it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Subi, do you have anything else? No, that's all. Thank okay. you all. Thank you, everybody. You're really welcome. Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>